Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some self-mill using a lot of exciting new cards um, to synergize with putting things into our graveyard and making big smashy creatures. Uh, this deck was actually a lot of fun and did a lot better than I thought it would, um, given the performance of self-mill in standards past. Um, talking about the most recent standards specifically, because it was not very good. Uh, so just going over the cards quickly, we have quite a few new additions. Um, so I'll go over those first, and then we'll just briefly touch on the older cards that synergize with the deck. So in the one-drop slot, we have four Stalactite Stalkers, which is a Goblin Rogue, a 1-1 one, one with a Menace. And at the beginning of your end step, if you descended, uh, which is when something goes into your graveyard from anywhere... Um, Put a plus one, plus one on the Stalker, and then for three, you sacrifice the Stalker and target creature gets minus X, minus X, until end of turn where X is the Stalker's power. Um, so if you can grow this decently, you can use it to take out something later in the game, or just smack in for early damage, um, which is what we do. Uh, and then kind of the all-star uh, build-around card of the deck, Souls of the Lost, which is a creature's spirit, and it says, as an additional cost to cast this spell, discard a card or sacrifice a permanent. And then it has Fathomless Descent, which is Souls of the Lost Power, is equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard, and its toughness is equal to that plus one. So this is um, actually quite a bit better than uh, the other kind of graveyard cards of the past, like the Urborg Lorgroif, uh, because it says permanent cards in your graveyard, and that includes lands. So uh, the, the Lorgroif, sorry, um, specifies creatures. Uh, but this specifies land, so this has the ability to grow a lot bigger and a lot faster uh, than something like the Lorgoyf, which is very nice, um, which is why it makes the cut as a 4 of and pretty much the all-star of the deck. Another new card we have is the Akawali, the Seething Tower. Um, it is a 3-3 three, three fungus with Descend 4, um, and it says as long as there are 4 or more permanent cards in your graveyard, it gets plus two, plus two, and has trample. And as long as there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard, it gets an additional plus two and can't be blocked by more than one creature. So um, opponent's going to have a hard time chumping this, and it gets trample. So we put that in as a one of. I'm kind of iffy on that one. Um, but, you know, new card, so why not? Uh, we also have Squirming Emergence, which is an awesome card. Uh, it says Fathomless Descent. Return to the battlefield, target non-land permanent card in your graveyard with mana value less than or equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. Um, most of our big payoff cards are two mana, so um, it's very easy to get this ability. So you can basically just get your Souls of the Lost back, which is nice. Then we have three Myco Tyrants. This card is sweet as well. Uh, it's a legendary creature, Elder Fungus, with Trample, and it says... Uh, the Myco Tyrant's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control that are fungi and or sapperlings. Not particularly relevant, but the part that is, is uh, at the beginning of your end step, create X11 black fungus creature tokens with this creature camp block, where X is the number of times you descended this turn. So um, when we mill ourselves for four, then we make four um, fungus sapperlings, and then the Myco Tyrant's power goes to, um, makes it a 5-5 five five because it's four plus the 1-1. One one. Uh, so yeah, this is nice. It grows as we get later into the game, and it has Trample, which is pretty critical because the other graveyard payoffs do not. Um, and then two more new cards. We have the Chupacabra Echo, which is sweet. Uh, Fathomless Descent again. And it says, when it enters the battlefield, target creature get an opponent controls gets minus X, minus X, until the end of turn where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. All the cards in our deck, except for like three, are permanent, so... Usually, this is going to be like a minus 5, minus 6. It's basically a removal spell, um, which is fantastic. And you'll notice that we don't run any of those in the deck, so we need this. Um, and then we have the Starving Revenant, which is a Spirit Horror, a 4-4. When it enters the battlefield, Surveil 2. Then for each card you put on top of your library, you draw a card and you lose 3 life. So um, you can basically put two things into your graveyard, uh, not draw any cards, not lose any life, but you feed the graveyard. Or you can draw two cards if you need cards, uh, and if you draw two, you lose um, three life. So, yeah. Um, good cycling, drawing, feed the graveyard synergy. And then for Descend 8, uh, whenever you draw a card, if there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So, kind of like a really budget shouldered, <laughs> um, but gain a little life there. Um, just passively. But we use it for the uh, the surveil most of the time. 
Um, and then for older cards that synergize, we have two gnawing vermin, which mills us for two. Um, and then when it dies, you can give a creature minus one, minus one. So like if they have a Thalia, you can sacrifice your nine vermin to your souls of the lost to cast it and then give the Thalia minus one, minus one, taking it out, that type of thing. Um, two Seed of Hope, a little bit of life gain here, and then mill two cards at instant speed. Put a permanent card from among the mill cards into your hand. So usually to help us find our land, fix our mana, or find, um, you know, something like a Tyvar or whatever else. Uh, and then we have four Cruel Somnophage. Um, which we use both sides of this. Can't wake up. Uh, target player mills four cards. That would be us. And then its power and toughness are each equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards. So, counting your opponent as well, um, which is nice. Uh, for Blanchwood Prowler to help us find our land. When it enters the battlefield, mill three cards. You may put a land card from among the cards milled this way into your hand. If you don't, put a plus one, plus one on the Prowler. Uh, and then for Urborg Lurgoyf, which is nice because you can play this all the way up the curve. Um, you can play it for two, or a kicker for a blue, or a kicker for a black and a blue. Um, and it says, enters the battlefield, mill three cards for each time it was kicked, so you can mill six cards in total for four mana. Um, and then its power is equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard, and its toughness is equal to that number, plus one. So lots of mill. Um, and then Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler. Um, basically just use this for minus two always. Uh, mill three cards, and then you may return a creature card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. All of our big payoffs are two mana, so... Well, I guess except for the Micro Tyrant, but Tyvar gets them all. And then, uh, yeah, the four drops we have here. Uh, other new cards in the mana base, the Restless Reef, two of them. Um, blue or black, and then for four, um, till the end of turn, it becomes a 4-4 four, four blue and black shark creature with Death Touch, which is nice, and it's still land whenever it attacks, target player mills four cards, that would be us, so... Um, if you have, like, Souls of the Lost, Cruel Somnophage on the field, and your Reef, you can attack in with your Reef and grow your two other creatures, um, like, during that attack phase, which is nice. So, that's why it makes the cut. Um, yeah, that's the deck. Fun deck, for sure. Definitely an upgrade on the, uh, the old self mill, I think. And uh, it's a really fun one to play. I had a good time with this. So, hope you all enjoy the video. If you do, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the games. All right. Ona goes first. Slow lands here. But we'll try it. Against green, it looks like. Well, I mean, <laughs> green is, as far as you can tell, off one basic land on turn one. But it does appear to be green. <clears throat> and they are ramping. So, I think we just go ahead and mill ourselves. Next turn, we can play the Akawali the Seething Tower. Or we can just go Tyvar and get back a Somnophage. <clears throat> There's a 6-6. Six, six. Game on. Let's make it a fight to remember. It's not a victory without you. We'll go Souls. <clears throat> see if we can tango with the dinosaurs. Onan's got some ramp. On four. Let's swing first and see if they want to block. Because we can just untap this with the Tyvar. Blocking. Go untap you. Ready for round two. And we'll go here. Missed a couple points of damage there, but <clears throat> that's okay. Hard draw. Our creatures are big enough to rumble. Um, what do we have down here? Urborg? Let's go for the mill again. And grab another souls. <clears throat> and then... Are we descending again? We could, with the Prowler... 
and the souls could also just attack in with the reef. They have to block this. Um, so what is the best way? Eh, I kind of want to develop more board. I just don't know if it's... It's got to be double spell, right? If we can do it, we may as well. Alright, get a land. Throw these even more. I have another souls. And... Let's discard the land. <laughs> and get them. Go to seven. Souls of the Lost, just way too big. There's an Itali. Let's see what they get off the top. Roll Somnophage. That's actually probably pretty good for them, huh? Okay. Oh, they scoop it up. I mean, they do lose their board, but still. Going first. Could just Seed of Hope on, well, two. That feels bad. These tap lands are killing us. May need to change up this mana base. May need to change up this mana base. That's the black. Curtains! Oh, we don't mind discarding, do we? We can Seed of Hope instant. And then I'll probably just mill myself with the Somnifish. What do we want out of here? Probably the Prowler, right? Double Prowler. Let's actually see if we hit the land first. Must kill it. Ah! <laughs> cool. Maybe should have saved that for something else, but who am I to, to judge? All right, tap land out. You can play Tyvar next turn. They probably take it with the curtains though. Um, but we could get it back with the squirming emergence, and we get to draw a card here, so that's nice too. Yeah. What's it gonna be? It's always Tyvar. Ever not Tyvar. Herboard. Hmm. So we can do this and one of these next turn. I think we want double creatures down, though. Land. And then... I mean, they're obviously going to kill this, but... It's fine with us. We discard. <clears throat> we want to double spell next turn. With this and this, probably. Or this and this. So we'll toss the tap land. Hidden Necropolis, a cave gamer, and they don't kill our soul? Oh, that's so good for us. Alright. We've got a chump. Let's get the Revenant down. Vermin. We haven't played land for turn either. So we could play the vermin and mill ourselves.
Yeah, we're gonna block this anyway, so we just did all this after the fact. What does this do? Uh, discover four. Is it for shouldered? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> this will be quick. It's not a victory without you. And then I don't think we're descending again. We'll probably just play the souls, right? <clears throat> so... I'll offer them the revenant trade, but they take 12. And it's still 8, even with the lifelink. <clears throat> No, oh, mm, don't want to discard. We'll sacrifice. Okay. <laughs> Two fourteen fifteens coming at you. See if they can get out of it. This comes in tapped, which. I feel like just makes it not as good as I'd like it to be, to say the very least. I feel like they should have at least made it, you know, have summoning sickness but come in untapped. Because right now in this spot... I feel like they should it would it wouldn't be busted if they were able to just tap their land, transform it back, and then make it a 4-4 that can block again. Annoying, yes, but not overpowered. Definitely was not uh as happy with this card as I was hoping to be when I first saw it. Alright. And that will do it. Can't get past the two fourteen fifteens. Going first. Need an untapped. All right. We'll just set up for the stalker next turn, I guess. Uh-huh. I feel like we need to fix our mana base. There's too many tap lands <clears throat> in this deck. And we absolutely want to be playing on curve, so. We're gonna block this. There's a land. So uh, we'll kick the Urborg. Three, four acquired. Gotta take out the Kamano. Okay. Another land here would be amazing. If not, we're just going souls. Beautiful. So... Like this. Ooh. Next turn. Depends if we draw a land or not.
if we draw a land, we can go the, <clears throat> excuse me, Myco Tyrant and the Souls of the Lost. If we don't draw a land, well, I guess it depends what creature we draw, but probably just Revenant. All right. Tap land. So Revenant then, I think. Take you. Send it all. Okay. Uh, then we... Ivar. Minus. Let's pound these metal monstrosity. Your story's not finished yet. Probably just Urborg. Souls. Uh, discard. Ivar. And suddenly we have lethal on board. Imagine that. Squee! They have to block. Okay, they're dead. Math is hard. <laughs> I keep forgetting to fix these lands. Um, uh, we go first. Reef, Cottage, Somnophage. Really slow, but... Also, just kick the Urborg. Thunder. All right. Let's actually, play the Myco Tyrant and see if they remove it. If they don't, we can hopefully draw another land. If we don't draw another land, we'll kick the Urborg. There's the Cathar. That's fine. It's good to get that out. Let me just make him have another here. I think it's double kick Urborg here. Start getting the graveyard going. And we've got the Chupacabra for the Cathar now. Straight to combat, trying to flip Day Knight. Whoa! Okay. Sure. We have five. So let's double spell. Let this Cathar flip. And then we're gonna Chupacabra it. So we get as much board presence as possible. Next turn. And if we draw another land, we can mill with the Somnifage. Alright, I've had enough of that Cathar. And this activates the Myco Tyrant. Also buffs our Urborg. Myco Tyrant is 6 6. 
Now there's lots of threats on the board for them to deal with, and they cannot. Going first, we'll keep this. <clears throat> Mill ourselves on two, and then, uh... This little Somnophage, some combination of those. Time for exiling. Fantastic. Actually, just play the Prowler. Land, beautiful. Didn't need that. Just play out the Wandering Emperor like that? Interesting. Let's see if they make another 2 2. They do. Into a Jace? <laughs> Are you gonna mill me? I've already read your oh my. You won't stop us. Oh my, oh my. Thank you. Surrender we take this. <laughs> It's not a victory without you. Without you. Uh, well, probably just got to be this, right? 22, 21, no big deal. Um, play both. Sacrifice, land. Get after it. <laughs> I'm never done for good. May your blade strike true. All right. I'm gonna truth here. Let's see if they have another wandering emperor. Chupacabra. <clears throat> Alright, that's not wandering up for a mana then. Base! Make him come up with the sweeper. We were gonna untap this and then play nothing because I think they have another emperor here and they're just gonna exile this. But um, I will. I know where to find. They draw three though. That's good for them. Twenty cards left. 
See if they can get there. They found the sweeper, it's possible. Or they need uh, <clears throat> more removal. If they don't sweep here, we double kick the Urborg, uh, so that if they Emperor, the two life won't save them on the uh, the Somniphage. And they don't have it. Bono goes first. Uh, we'll keep this. We can go the Cascade Waste Prowler Souls. Ugh, mono blue. Land? If they counter this. Okay. <laughs> Get the trigger anyway. <laughs> no gin. Souls discard. Revenant. Souls, Sacrifice, Prowler. Three three menace is nice. No tap out for a gin, huh? All right then, attack you first. Probably counter here. We'll sacrifice our Boseju. Activating the Stalker. Ooh, they tap out for Thirst. Squirming Emergence then. What do we get? What do we get? Probably the Revenant, I think. Yeah. We can draw cards. Actually, this land could be good. Yeah, we'll draw both. We'll draw both. Lethal very much on board. There's a Jin. <laughs> Chupa Lupa. The Chupa Cabra. Hi.
Yeah, we want to get Prowler down on two. These dinosaurs, probably. Let's get our graveyard moving. <laughs> so many lands. Just gonna decline. Next turn we'll get a big Myco Tyrant. We'll see if it's too late though, they're already on five. Ah, mana Dork. Huh? Hey, we take those. Alright, big turn for us. Let's start off with a mill. Then let's go Vermin. Me. I would like to mill. And then we'll go Stalker. Might go Tyrant to the Moon. Big Boom Boom has arrived into a belligerent yearling. Sure. They pass. Not enough to do all of it. We'll want to keep the Myco Tyrant moving. We'll take the Reef. And then we'll sacrifice a permanent. And pass. Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> we blocking. Got him. Going first, no blue. We have Tyvar, we'll keep. Play the Vermin first, I think. Huh, <laughs> okay. I think we're actually just going to plus with Tyvar, because we can then play the Myco Tyrant and Minus. <laughs> I would love to discard. Thank you. Nobody knows, Domino. You won't be outsmarting me. Souls of the Lost. Myco Tyrant. Minus. It's not a victory without you. Souls of the Lost. <laughs> Big two. <laughs> we all have things we want to forget. Don't lose hope, friends. I don't believe it. We're in this together. Souls of the Lost. <laughs> Tyvar. I have arrived. <laughs> Souls of the Lost. Ten ten Myco Tyrant. Hello. <laughs> uh, two cards in hand. Liliana in a dream. This is the stuff magic is made of, my friends. <laughs> Got a shoulder. 
If they, actually, if they have a shoulder, we have to top a land. So we can get them with the Chupacabra. This card is sweet. It's uh, reminiscent of the Ravenous Chupacabra, I think, which was a 4-mana 2-2. Uh, and when it entered, it destroyed target creature, which is pretty good. So to have that like on a body. Um, definitely see it a lot in uh, Historic Brawl in some decks. And uh, opponent... <laughs> what? what? Can you not deal with 9, 10, 7, 8, 9, 1, ones? And uh, two 11 12s and a 10 10 with trample on four mana? <laughs> Come on now. You can do it. I believe. Never gonna give you up. <sighs> Opponent is so sad. Salty roping because you're mad. There's a tap land. Not ideal. Oh, uh, I guess we just do this. Chupacabra. They can't ultimate next turn, so we just send it all phase. But we do this first because it boosts up our Souls of the Lost and they can only block one. If they have a kill spell, they can kill one as well, but then the Myco Tyrant um, also gets a trigger at the end of the turn, so... It's an upside either way to do this before combat. Uh, that is, of course, assuming the opponent is still here, which I don't think they are. <laughs> it's 9.52 in the morning Eastern Time, and they've already had enough of the arena. <laughs> Get um. Woo! We go first. Um, all tap lands feels bad. Not the worst though. Just lead with the vine stock and then uh, hopefully draw an untapped. Go into prowler. Beautiful. But also just mill ourselves, but. Ooh, look at all those lands. We'll take the cottage. Good to get those out of the way. Edict, huh? I wonder if that means they're clearing the way for a Liliana, potentially. Let's get something out on the field. Metal monstrosity. Never give up. Nice. We can win. Casual five six. If they kill it, we will mill ourselves and play the somnophage, I think. Spark rupture. Alright then. Uh, well, we lose all abilities. That's annoying. What's on the turn here? I think we will talk in Numa. Fill up our graveyard even more. We probably should have done that before attacking, but... Definitely wasn't expecting the spark rupture, so threw me off a little bit. Let's we'll see what they do here, though. Not quite sure what they're playing. They march us. Okay. That takes their whole turn. Um, we'll go somnophage, and let's see just how large we can make our souls of the lost. 13-13. Hmm, no blue. Also don't really want to play into a Sunfall, right? 
Let's make him figure this out first. We can kill him with the lands next turn anyway, so there's no point in uh, playing further into a sweeper. <laughs> cool art, cool card. And we got him. Going first... We have the Prowler on two, we'll keep. And do a kicked Lorgoyf on three. Into the Revenant on four. Kinda nice. Happy to block there. Opponent kind enough to give us creatures. I think we actually go for the um, micro tyrant, and then we can double kick the Lurgoyf next turn. Cool card. I like this one. Reminds me of uh, Shambling Ghast in times when Deadly Dispute was a thing and life was just a little bit better. All right. Double kicker. Good hits. Send these in. No blocks, because they want to get them back. Now we get six one ones. This has haste, which is annoying, so we're probably Did we mill a way to get rid of that? No. Vermin. Vermin, vermin. Could draw and play it. I think we do. I think we want both of these. We'll drain and gain action. Play the vermin. We descend. Um. Could be an emperor. We say YOLO. Let's see what they go for, though. Trampler. Makes sense. Okay. What else do we have down here? We have another Micro Tyrant there. Micro Tyrant? So we can get that back with the Squirming Sequence. They're going to try and Remember kill us with the training. Echo of Death's Wail. Fine with me. Synergies. Starving Revenant, though. A little bit of drain and gain here, which is nice. Ooh. Try to best me. That seems good. I'll finish this here and now. <laughs> nice. First things first. Take out the wanderer. Time is up. And then let's squirming sequence. We'll get the revenant back here. Souls, nice. That can go in the bin. And then. Yeah, I guess we make him have another. Uh, let's sacrifice. Land. Alright, 15-16 coming in. Do you have a sweeper? Could be a sunfall. Protect the people. Nope. Here's Tyvar. Let's 
skip that cast. We'll talk about this fight for centuries. Your story's not finished yet. Not finished yet. What do we want? Orgoyf is just big boom boom. Hmm. Yeah. And then... We'll send. Down to five. Let's play the Prowler. Pain-free land. Braids. Okay. And a chorus. See you later. <laughs> Keep watch for intruders. Drain and gain him. Attack first and see what they do. Yeah. Untap you. Take my hand. Takanuma. Micro Tyrant. Right of Oblivion. Fortunate. Still, though. Wow, oh, that's lethal. Tough. Ooh, they missed it. These can't block. Sure. We take those. Yep. Missed out on the, uh... the fact that these are unable to block. We go first. Uh, Prowl around two. We'll keep. Scrowl, huh? Alright, let's see if we hit the land. We do. Go for the kicked Lurgoif here. Five six, nice. Next turn we'll just do it again. Turn after that, um, we will mill with the Somniphage and play the Somniphage. Now let's see how much removal Mono White Aggro is packing today. We are going to have to get aggressive, because if they're able to get a Brutal Cathar down and then flip Day Knight over and over, it's going to be really bad for us, so... Okay. No attacks for them. We will be attacking. Hello. Let's kick this first. 
because it could increase the power of this one, although I'm sure they will chump block. Maybe not, though. Let's race. Ooh, take it. There's the Brutal. Uh... Uh... Okay. Is it two or less or three or less? Three or less. Oh no, it's two or less. Huge mistake. It's not eh, works out. Without you. Uh, let's go souls. Knock, knock. There's the chump. Plus one, plus one. Which, we can now sacrifice this to take out the Brutal Cathar. Not super concerned with Tyvar here. They want to attack in, that's fine. Although the Skrell... We could block like this. Let's see if they give protection. Nope. Feeds the graveyard. Alright. What now? Stop day night, discard a card. Prowler. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the post-game deck overview. That was our self-mill deck. Um, <laughs> it didn't do very good on the draw, apparently. I'm just finding this out now. Uh, but on the play, it did very well. Uh, there have been two versions of the deck. Overall, one rate of 59%. We went 10 and 7, played it for about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, Version-wise, you'll hear me talk about it a lot in the games, um, just changing the mana base, because I felt like we had too many tap lands. So we removed two cottages, one Restless Vine stock, added in two shores, and a Yavamaya Coast. Uh, went three and three with this version. Went to Mythic thirteen fifty six, but when we initially started with the deck, we were at one hundred percent. So um, ultimately, we ended up ranking up, which is nice. Um, and yeah, that was the deck. It was a lot of fun to play. Um, I had a really good time with it. Uh, apparently, though, on the draw, I have to do something about that. I feel like that was because like our. On the draw, you just want to fill your graveyard as soon as possible and then get big boom booms down. And I feel like a lot of the times, in a lot of the games we lost, I noticed that we weren't able to do that. Like, we were either flooding out or um, we were just getting a bunch of Blanchwood Prowlers or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I think that, um, yeah, just being able to fill your graveyard as soon as possible is uh, important here. So, probably mulliganing for a hand that can do that is crucial. And then also, um, I think the mana base could use some tuning as well. I like the dual lands just because we run technically three colors, but having like being able to play things on curve is very important here. So the tap lands kind of get in the way of that. So I think the mana base could definitely use some tuning uh, in that regard, but um, it would probably make it better too. So that's my takeaway from playing this. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one, though. I'll probably revisit it in the future, um, just because it's a fun deck. And uh, I like the graveyard nonsense. So uh, that's it for the video, though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you do, and I will see you in the next one.